Okay, so I said it was going to be very similar to what we did last time, and it is. We're going to divide rational expressions, okay? Before we multiplied them or just simplified them, right? So we had something like, uh, you know, x plus 4 over x plus 4 times x minus 2. And these two guys would cancel out, and so we'd end up with x or 1 over x minus 2. That's just simplifying a rational expression. And then we went into multiplying where we had like x plus 4 over 2 times x plus 3. And then we have like uh, x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then maybe we had a, a, f uh, a 2x plus 8 maybe. Let's say that. And so... You know, these two guys over here can't be simplified, okay? But these two I can factor. This is supposed to be a plus sign. And so if I had 9 and 6, we'd say, all right, the factors are 3 and 3, right? So we could go x plus 3 and x plus 3. And so he's gone. So now one of these guys will cancel. So we still have 1 up here, though. And then I can factor a 2 out of this and be left with an x plus 4, right? If I divide each of those by 2, that's what I'd have. So I'm going to cross him out, and now this x plus 4 will cancel, won't it? So now we're left with x plus 3 on the top. That's supposed to be a 3. Wonderful 3. And then on the bottom, we just have these two 2's, two, so I have 2 times 2 is 4, and this would be my answer if I was multiplying. So dividing is going to be the same thing, except we flip over the second guy. So let's say we had, uh, let's just go with x plus 4 again, and 2 times x plus 3 on the bottom, and we're saying divide by um, x squared plus 7x plus 12, and x squared plus 6x plus 8. All right? So... It's the same thing, except this guy has to be flipped over, and I change the divide sign to a times. So what's really going to happen here is we're going to have this, and then we're going to say times, and I just flip this guy over. And then I do exactly what I've been doing this whole time. Just factor, factor what we can. So we go, all right, well, I got a 12 and a 7. So what's that, 4 and 3? So this could be x plus 4 and x plus 3. And notice these 3's would cancel. The x plus 3's would cancel. And then this guy, if I have an 8 and a 6, that'd be 4 and 2, right? So x plus 4 and x plus 2. And so gone and gone. So all that's left on top is an x plus 4. And then on the bottom, that's supposed to be a 4, we have this 2 times x plus 2. And that would be our answer. So it's, it's pretty much the same exact thing we've been doing. It's just you have to flip over the second guy. Not the first guy, just the second guy. Okay, the second expression here has to be flipped over. And that's really the only difference in what we're doing.